the countdown to the grand final is on. And we're looking for a big crowd to make some noise. And WA tourism operators are also counting their blessings, expecting a huge windfall come showtime. In just a matter of days, this stadium's seats will be filled with a sell-out crowd, with Optus expecting to sell 12,000 boxes of chips and 50,000 beers. Despite the severe weather spectacle, SES crews say they only received 10 calls for help. A leaky roof, collapsed ceiling and patio, the worst of the damage. The 40-year-old was on her way home alone from a night out in Northbridge when she was attacked by up to 11 teenagers. There have been more deadly exchanges overnight between the Israeli military and Hamas as the situation in Gaza continues to deteriorate. Despite international efforts to end the conflict and a worsening death toll, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says the country's fourth war with Hamas will continue. Crushing the status quo. Why well, don't set going for a take? And shattering glass ceilings. As Western Australia's screen industry thrives, the rising stars of Hollywood are its ambitious young filmmakers. Behind closed doors and hidden from a doctor's view, Christina Hartman-Benz was allegedly falsifying COVID vaccinations. Police prosecutors say they will investigate the roughly 25 other patients of the woman who requested to be personally vaccinated by her at the St James Clinic. The ABC's Afghanistan investigation wins the 2020 Gold Walkley Award. Donald Trump's lawyer sweats it out as election loss denial continues, while a hand recount of ballots in Georgia reaffirms the win for President-elect Joe Biden. Since Screen Australia's Gender Matters Task Force began, more women have become film producers, directors and writers across the country. In feature dramas, just over a quarter of these roles were filled by women five years ago. That number jumped to 52% in 2019 to 2020. In WA films alone, women accounted for just over half too. Just after 8 this morning, neighbours say they heard a loud crash after a high-performance car apparently lost control and collided with the house behind me. The runaway Subaru smashed into the lounge room after knocking over a picket fence and part of the carport. The nursing home in Bentley has 150 residents who range in age from 50 to 96, many of whom cannot walk or suffer severe dementia. And if those cute faces aren't enough to convince you, Guide Dogs WA will also cover all food, medical and equipment costs for their voluntary puppy races. While the cooler conditions are expected to last for the rest of the week, a taste of summer will finally arrive on the weekend, with a top of 33 on Sunday. Jenny Sean, reporting for 10 News First. Those are the headlines from ABC News. For more at any time, go to our website. From the team, bye for now.